The third approach is to use Unix command in pipeline or in chain. Let us first try to understand what does it mean by pipeline. As we discussed earlier, when we run a program, it may take input from you. In other words, you may provide input to a program by typing. A program or command may also print some output on the screen. In Unix, you can provide output of one program as the input to another. This is known as piping. A pipe is denoted by the vertical bar symbol. Command 1, vertical bar command 2 means the output of command 1 will become the input to command 2. Let us take an example. Echo is a Unix command that prints on the screen whatever argument is passed to it. For example, echo hi prints hi on the screen. wc is a command that prints the number of characters, words and lines out of whatever you type on the standard input. Let me show you. Start wc command, type some text, say hi, then new line and how are you? And then press Ctrl D to end the input. It would print number of lines, words and characters which are 2, 4 and 15 respectively. If we want to count the number of words or characters in the output of echo, we could use a command like echo hello comma world vertical bar wc. Let us try to understand this pipeline of command for word counting in parts. The first command cat my file prints the contents of the file my file. The second command in the chain is sed. Sed stands for streaming editor. It is used to replace a text with something else in the input. It is very similar to search and replace option of text editors. You can use regular expression with sed by providing an option minus e. sed space dash e space single quote small s slash regular expression that represents spaces or tabs slash new line slash g replaces spaces and tabs with new line. Essentially, it converts the text into one word per line. This one word per line text can be further sent to a command called sort, S-O-R-T, which can order lines in the input. The sort command takes various options. The option dash capital S makes it use only limited memory. In our case, we are using dash S 1G option to sort data using only one gigabyte of memory. The last command is unique, U-N-I-Q. Unique command finds unique line in the input. It expects data to be ordered already. In case the input to unique is not sorted, the result is not correct. Unique command has minus C option which prints the counts of each unique word. So, Unique minus C would print counts of each unique word in the sorted input. So, the entire pipeline consisting of cat, sed, sort, followed by unique, prints the word count of unique words in the text file. 